to another episode of Speakeasy TV. We're here today with real estate mogul Jay Morrison. What's up, what's up? Jay, what's going on, man? How you feeling, man? Great, bro. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. So just to get into it, man, what, what made you get into real estate? Well, real estate, for me, was just my option out of the streets. It was the only way for me um, to see how I could win. In life. All right, so so all I knew from the time I was a, a, a young boy, as I say in Philly, a young growing up, all I knew was either ball, rap, or the streets my way out. And um, you know, ball fizzed out for me. You know what I'm saying? Coming out of high school, uh, couldn't rap. <laughs> and I spent 10 years in the streets, and I, I made a lot of money, but I really didn't catch any wins because I also caught three felonies and, and had. And had a lot of adversity there. Okay. So that's not real estate wasn't something that you always planned to do. It was kind of you know, broad or yeah, yeah, absolutely not. It never was like a, a big passion of mine. So with that being said, did, did you when you got into the real estate game, did you expect to become as big as you are now? I mean you are considered like a, a mogul as far as real estate. Um it's still kind of new to me and it's, it's still kind of just like uh it's just such a blessing, kind of surreal, right? So, so for me to be doing, um, uh, be a real estate expert on Today Show on NBC, uh, 60 million viewers, or uh, showing people like Angela Yee, Mike Adams from the Denver Broncos, or Mo Wilkins from the Jets, showing them $10 million properties on NBC's Open House NYC. So rubbing off of that with the uh, Open House NYC TV, are you on that on a regular basis? Uh, so, so as far as Open House NYC, we, we shot in nearly 12 episodes to date. Okay. In the last year and a half, I have the green light from my producers to shoot whenever I want. Um, my schedule's kind of demanding, so I'm not on there as often as I like, as you know, as glamorous as TV is. Uh, because I do the TV, because I have the Jay Morrison Academy, because I have my school uniform with the collection of Young Minds Kid, and because I'm doing this 15 city key success tour, because I have a $10 million listing in Alpine, New Jersey, and several other businesses as well as being a father of two, you know, I, I can't take on and show six or seven people houses all day. So I really try to keep my client list like four to five clients a year. Um, I'm really selective about my clients. I have a lot of young guys I'm working with right now. Uh, we're talking about doing some um, some projects with uh, Deshaun Jackson from the Eagles, uh, Mo Wilkinson from the Jets. Um, we have a couple new Giants guys on our, on our roster. Um, and we're working with a lot, of, a lot of athletes, professionals, and then just some affluent people in general. Um, so I give a lot of free game and information away through YouTube and other platforms. And then we're really giving a game away over a 12 month curriculum through my Jay Morrison Academy. We're teaching the real estate game to everyone um, through webinars and live coaching calls. And we're doing it for like $100 a month. So for $3.33 a day, we're giving everybody all the tools and tips that I learned about the game. Tell us about your book, uh, Hip Hop and Rules, and a little bit about that, you know, without spoiling the right. right. main message. <laughs> well, well Hip Hop to Homeowners, I mean, it says it all, our, 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 our subtitle, which is how we built wealth in America. And if you look at the title, the we is capitalized. Now, we is talking about pop culture. It's about urban culture and minority culture and our culture. Referencing basically all my chapters in my book are hip hop titles or hip hop verses. So just relating to us and relating to the youth in a fun and cool way, but teaching me the real estate game and financial principles. Man, that sounds big. And, and, and in addition, I hear you speaking about the youth a lot. Right. What, what programs or what, what things do you have going on as far as the youth? What are you, what are you trying to do to reach the youth? Well, a lot of what we do is, is geared towards the youth because uh, mainly out of me being solution driven. So, I, I, like, if you look at every statistic, right, every negative statistic, like poverty, uh, single parent homes, uh, teen pregnancies, uh, African Americans and Hispanics lead in all those categories. If you look at all the positive categories, family wealth, uh, uh, employment, um, uh, employment salaries, and, and all this kind of thing, the least in those categories, right? So our community is broken, broken. What's the plan of attack there? So for me, I said uh, a couple years ago, if we target our youth and teach them the principles they need to become successful, they can then tell their kids and the next generation those same principles. Then we start breaking the cycle. So me, and so we've done things from, uh, obviously, the book. We do a hip-hop to homeowner financial literacy assembly in high schools and middle schools. We teach kids about credit early. We bring in a live DJ in. We did one today in Philly at uh, Philadelphia Learning uh, Academy. Um, we also have our school uniform collection, teaching kids the importance of proper attire. So that kids out of all communities understand that to get to that next level, you got to be able to cross over. 
how you speak, how you dress, etc. We cover nine hours of mentoring, three hours of financial literacy, and six hours for cool careers, careers in fashion, film, and music. So, how do they get a hold of that? Oh uh, well, yeah. So everything can be found through uh, jmorrison.net. That's my center site. Google J Morrison, everything pops up from our uh, Instagram, Twitter, and website. And then under that website, we have the jmorrisonacademy.com. We have youngmindsken.com. We have joinymc.org. So every business has its own its own brand and its kind of face. Um, but through jmorrison.net, you get a hold of us, and you can uh, or anyone can inquire about having us come to your city doing youth empowerment rallies, and speaking engagements. What it is, the less you have to put out with certain things. Absolutely. So I, I really commend you on that. Thank you. I really tip my hat. So in addition, I to go back a little bit. You said that you you spent a little time. So. You know the overbearance of, of adversity. Uh, what, what, what is something that you can give as motivation for the people that make these over? What, 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 what advice can you give? Right? Well, first and foremost, is you have an example now, right? Like I'm, I'm proof, and this is without. It's different than you take someone like, um, like say a Mano, yeah. right? Like shout out to Maine too, um, who came home, made it in the music business. He's inspirational as well. Yeah. But that's someone that's, that made it as a rapper, right? So that's like this shot in a dark kind of chance. Um, I'm showing people that without a sport, without rapping, I got three felonies. I've been in through seven different prisons between Maryland, New Jersey, and New York. Probably even more. I actually counted up between the receptions, DOCs, and all that other kind of stuff. Um, right, because I'm a Like, you know what I'm saying? This is from the time I was 18 to the time I was 25. So, and now we talk about everything I've done, though, from NBC and on, right? So, I'm proof of how far you can cross over as a first name. So, that excuse of you can't do it is, is mute now. And the how to is just do it. Go do it. Stop making excuses before you try. Like, so that's what happens. Like, you put yourself, when you get these felonies, you get these S on your back, you put yourself in a box. More than society puts you in a box. And then you may not be able to get the traditional job or the job you want. So you gotta be, be you gotta create your own job. You gotta become your own boss. And then you can employ yourself. So it's it's, it's all about ambition and effort. And a lot of times we get lazy. And and going back to our old ways, going back to the streets, is a lazy man's route. It, it, it's, it's, the, it's the easy route as opposed to challenging yourself. Switching up how you speak, switching up how you dress. You gotta change some things. If you got if you got felonies on your back, you gonna have to change some things, change how you do some things if you wanna make it in the corporate America or make it in the, if you got felonies on your back, you gonna have to change some things, change how you do some things if you wanna make it in the corporate America or make it and then to the next level. So, you know what I mean? Be willing to change up. Make tough choices. Well, look, man, we appreciate having you at the speak with you, man. It's been a pleasure. You've been very informative. I appreciate and, it. Uh, thank you, man. I thank you, man. You've been schooling me to a lot. So, hopefully, yo, you continue with your success, man. And God bless you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Young Minds Ken, man. Hey, what up? It's Real Estate Mogul, Jay Morrison, a.k.a. Jay Mr. Real Estate. I'm here with, at Speak Easy. These boys are holding it down here in Philly. I want to shout them out for the interview. Y'all keep checking it out. They're putting out good information for the community. Support these brothers. Young Mars Kim. Speak Easy. We out. We're working with the family of Alfred Wright. He's uh, the gentleman that was, was mysteriously murdered in Texas. And um, there was a kind of a Fugazi search done to help find his body. I'm actually a spokesman for his family. And, uh, uh, on the board of his foundation, so we've been making a lot of noise for Alpha Wright and, and to find justice and see what happened down there for him. So for me, it's just about.